Hi everyone, my name's Emily Petricola and I'm a WC4 paracyclist on the Australian national team. I was diagnosed with MS in 2007, I was 27 years old. I think everyone knows that with MS, like it affects you in a myriad of ways and impacts your life in a whole lot of different ways. So um, every day is different, which is probably the biggest challenge as an athlete, trying to manage what is a really complex illness. I became involved in para sport. A friend of mine, he was an Olympic rower, and I'd spoken to him about the fact that I really struggled to do any exercise because every time my temperature goes up, obviously, as most of us know, in heat, whereas our core temperature goes up, our symptoms are exacerbated. And so he had a watt bike at the time, and he said, why don't we set that up in our office? So we just started with five minute blocks on the watt bike and built it up, and over a couple of months, um, he started to say, oh, I think your numbers are pretty good. I think we should look at potentially competing. I'm like, what am I going to compete at? Like, I'm so bad. <laughs> In terms of being a Paralympian, living with MS, what that means to me and going to the Paralympics, like it's honestly, like when I think about it, I get really emotional because of how big the journey has been. When I started this, I was so broken from the illness in many ways. I lost a part of my identity and this has given me that back. But I never honestly would have thought that I was capable um, of doing high level sport, let alone becoming a multiple time world champion. And it's an enormous achievement and something that I'm so proud of. Like just because you have MS, that is not what defines you as a person. Whilst there is a lot of challenges that are gonna be thrown up at you in the course of your illness, it's important that you remember who you are and you stay true to who you are throughout it. Be honest about what's happening because I think as soon as you can do that, then you can move past it and find ways to sort of survive and live with the disease as opposed to trying to spend your whole life pretending that it doesn't, it's not happening to you.